The last time we chatted, we added the ability to kill our bat enemies. And today I wanted to improve our bat AI so they can actually fly towards the player. And for that, we need to learn all about 2D navigation, which is something I've frankly never done before. When I was setting up my tile map, I saw there was this navigation layer. And I wonder if it's as easy as just painting on a navigation space to this empty tile. And then in the cave generation code, we can use that location so that we'll be able to navigate the non wall parts of the cave. Then we'll enable the visible navigation and we can see all perfect that actually was a bit easier than i thought but now i want to make the bats actually consume this navigation space and for that we'll need to go to youtube and watch a nice little tutorial here we'll, we'll implement some code that looks a bit like their project to see if okay nothing is actually moving so yet another tutorial this one will surely do the trick we'll adjust the code so it matches what they got going on looks like a pretty good implementation I'll change this here and we'll run the project clicking f5 to see that oh oh they are moving they're moving not toward the player. So I'm going to dive in and maybe Reddit has the answer. Good old trusty Godot Reddit to the win. Okay, that's very similar. I'm learning kind of some, some basic parts of how navigation works, but we're back to no movement. GD Quest. GD Quest tutorials are always, wait, this is for 3.0. Uh, 3.x, that's not gonna do it. Maybe a, well, actually a 4.2 tutorial. And that was a good tutorial, but I'm stuck in tutorial hell. So I got pretty frustrated. And uh, quite frankly, I rage quit in the middle of the session. You didn't miss much, but I did end up going on a nice calming walk and came up with the idea of instead just explicitly setting the navigation tiles right in the tile map editor and just seeing if the bats will navigate toward the player. And look at that. Oh my, uh, this is, th that took way too many hours for me to realize that, but th this means that the issue is with the code I use to generate my cave procedurally. Maybe it's a bug. Um, maybe, no, 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 bugs, bugs are a trap. Bugs, bugs are a trap. Let's, let's keep going. I, and I found this nice Reddit post actually. Oh yeah, this actually is exactly what I'm doing. Now it is for alpha, looks like alpha 14 or 15 for 4.0, but maybe that'll work for me as well. The, the only big difference looks like they're using a different, layer for where they set the empty navigation tile so maybe let me change my navigation tile to use two instead of one and oh that resulted in an error in the debug console but that that is new sometimes errors can be very helpful so maybe no it can't be that simple it was my index of my layer just wrong okay so instead of one let's let's try out zero and oh oh it was i just Okay, so I just chased my tail for like five hours. My code hasn't really changed, but I am actually grateful I got there in the end, albeit it took quite a bit longer than I was hoping for. If you have ideas for where I could take this project next, please come join me over in my Discord and we can chat about your games, my games, or leave a comment down below. I do read all of them and I respond to, to the good ones, so maybe you can leave a good one. I've been Aramis. Thanks for watching.